So recently, I sent a photo to Dobby Tech showing her my desktop of Windows 11, but it looked odd. It had the Longhorn sidebar, which was a concept, it had the start menu, which looked almost like Longhorns, and it had a Longhorn style taskbar. She was shocked, and when I mean shocked, I mean like she sent it into Dobby VM shocked. And I did get some popularity. Not really popularity, but you know what I mean. And this is what the desktop looks like, and I took inspiration from the Hillel Cooperman's design. Of course, it's not a one-to-one -one recreation, but it is a cool recreation. Now you might be like, how did I do this? Well, simple. I did it by using three, three things. One of them is called Rain Meter, the other one is called Open Shell, and the last one is called Retro Bar. I'm going to demonstrate how I did all of this in a Windows 11 virtual machine. So for this tutorial you're going to need a few things, some of which are optional. Okay. Some of which are optional. You need, so there's this pack on DeviantArt called Longhorn Sidebar, but before you get that, you need to get Rain Meter, then get Open Shell, and then Startup Sound Changer, which we will then apply the Windows Longhorn Startup Sound, and then Retro Bar. However, before doing all that, we need to configure some things. So first, install the Windows Desktop Runtime 6.0.32. Just wait for that to finish, and then after that, and after that, restart your computer. Alright, so now we're going to get to the customization. So go back into the Windows 11 folder, and this one's optional. Open Startup Sound Changer.exe. Yeah, yeah, you gotta set this feature up as well. You gotta set up this .NET framework thing. Which is different in the Windows desktop runtime. But after it's after it finishes setting up, then you'll be able to apply the Windows long one startup. However, startup sound changer.exe only takes WAV files, so your precious MP3 files won't be able to be put. Also, if you're going to apply different startup sound besides this fake Longhorn sound I'm going to be using, please use something that's like not drastically long, like 20 seconds long. I'm looking at you, Windows 5.0. That took a while. Damn. All of this just for trying to change the startup sound. Also, by the way, this isn't a good one-to-one -one recreation of the Longhorn that I'm trying to replicate. But it's still a good, um, a good style. If you don't like it, that's too bad. While this, while this finishes installing, go to taskbar settings and position, position the taskbar on the left. I kind of like it. And maybe disable widgets and do other stuff. You don't really need Copilot, do you? Alright, so now after that, you can open Startup Sound Changer. Uh, I think I gotta do a restart. Oh, never mind, it's here. So, yeah, that's the Startup Sound, but whatever. So you're gonna go and find the Startup Sound you want. Make sure it's a WAV file. And then after that, click exit so it'll save. Congratulations. Now, install a rain meter. Now click run rain meter. Then when you get the file from DeviantArt, extract it. And you get this Longhorn sidebar 2.1.1 or whatever version is at at this time. 
you know, run that and then click on this raindrop. Customize your settings. I'm just gonna click install. This is one, this is one of my favorite Longhorn sidebars of all time. And also because it just looks like the one from that PDC conference. I do like the other one though, but this one just f gives me more footage or arrow vibes. You, yeah, you uh, apply wallpaper. Yeah, it'll give you a wallpaper to apply, and j just apply it just for just for you know the theming. You can leave that down there as well. After that, you want to extract the RetroBar downloader and run run RetroBar. Give it a bit, and it'll be down there. Right click and then go to properties. And make the size of the taskbar, I'd say 125. And change the theme to Longhorn Arrow. And then press OK. And go back to almost 11. And run Open Shell. Install Open Shell, and then click Finish. And then when you get the settings for Open Shell, click Classic with two columns, go to Skin, and then find Smoked Glass. And this is how it'll look. Of course, it doesn't look fully like Windows Longhorn and all that stuff, but it's still good. And then pr press OK. Is there anything else? No, I think we're good. So this is what it should look like after you're done. This is the start menu. Uh, of course, it's kind of floating, but that doesn't really matter. You can revert back to the old one if you want. This is the sidebar, which actually, it actually works, obviously. It's really cool. Also, I added that there, by the way. Uh, this is the branding, which this isn't. E which this sidebar wasn't even in Longhorn 474. I think it was like a different one. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Watch my other content.